All right, so now we're going to go ahead and graph secant. And again, just remember it's a reciprocal function of cosine. And so again, we're going to have issues anytime we get zero in the denominator. All right, so anytime you get one over zero, that is undefined. And so that's gonna cause problems, um, but it's okay because it's gonna help us graph our graph, which is kind of nice. All right, so we are going to make our nice little, you know, five key points. So we have zero, pi over two, pi, three pi over two, and two pi. Now, for cosine, you either need to um, kind of know that it starts out high, mid, low, mid, high, which means it starts out at 1, goes to 0, goes down to negative 1, goes to 0, back up to 1. Or you're going to have to draw the unit circle, and you're going to have to take all the um, x values off of that. So whatever is fine with me, however you get that. All right. Now, the only issue is, is I'm not graphing the cosine function. I'm graphing the secant, so I need to reciprocate all these. So I'm going to, you know, flip this guy, which is 1 over 1. Flip this guy, I get 1 over 0. Flip this guy, and again, it doesn't matter where you put the negative there as long as it's negative. Flip this guy, and flip this guy. Or you can think of it as putting 1 divided by whatever used to be here. That's fine, too. All right, so this is one. Um, this is actually undefined. This is a negative one, undefined, and positive one. All right, so if I look at my graph, again, we're going to draft the standard one first. So here's one, negative one. Let's make our little tick marks over here. All right, so this is pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi, which is 4 pi over 2, so this is 5 pi over 2. 6 pi over 2, and then 7 pi over 2. We don't have much space. All right, so my asymptotes. Well, at pi over 2, I have one. I have another one at, what, 3 pi over 2? So it looks like all my fractional pieces. So pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2. Skip the nice ones. All right. Those are where all my asymptotes are. And so again, um, let's go ahead and draw a standard um, cosine function. So it would start high, mid, low, mid, high. So it would be and then mid, low, and back to mid. Okay, that would be the standard one. And again, I could do this side too. Now, the cool thing then is our nice little function here is going to where this local min is. It's going to become a local max for that guy. So my function is going to go there. My function is going to go there. And my function is going to go there. And if I went ahead and made, let's see, right there, I'd have another asymptote because that would be what? Negative pi over 2. So there would be another asymptote. And again, I could go ahead. That's going to become a min for me. And again, I could graph the function.